Thanks for joining, this is Movado, and I'm back here with episode 4 of the Legacy Kill Academy. This time I've got two ships I'm looking at. One's the Eradicator, uh, the other is the Infector. I haven't done a video on the Eradicator yet, so I wanted to get one of those, but I thought I would use this opportunity to do both the Eradicator and a dual fight showing how I handle the fights when the Eradicator, or sorry, when the Infector is also in the sector. Uh, typically what I do is I try to uh, try to isolate and, and uh, pick out the infector first and then get the other ship but you'll, you'll see as I get into this overall there's going to be a lot of the same strategies where I'm going to kill the drones at first uh, I try to take care of many as, as many of those as I can and then once the drones are gone go in for the kills on the infector and eradicator um, eradicator is a little different obviously a tougher fight uh, if you've watched my previous videos, I have made a few changes since the last video, the Devastator video. I added the two Quantums I got in the first two videos, and then I added a few more turrets. Uh, and before I get a little closer, let me go over what I have. So currently I have 16 regular laser turrets. I think that's the same as what I had before. I don't think I actually added any of those. Uh, however many Positron Beam turrets these are, 4 Modulated Gamma. And then six heavy railgun turrets. These are the only heavy turrets I have on here. Everything else is just a standard version. And then I did add some more missile turrets from the last version. So I'm up to 14. If you play with block limits, you could probably just start upgrading some of these to the tier 2 versions to stay within block limits. Uh, these as well. The other thing I did is I did add additional weapons. So heavy blaster cannons, I added four more and I added one more artillery cannon. So that gets me up to 10 heavy blaster cannons and eight total artillery cannons, so I'm getting near the max total weapons on this ship. Um, and that's all I changed. The other thing that that did affect is my shield is now down to only 6,300. Uh, you know, if you heard me in the previous episodes, I don't think shields really matter, matter so that's fine. The other thing I did, which is, is you know, kind of minor, is I did add some more Xenoblock reinforcements to the nose of this ship right in front of the front drive thruster. If you've seen in the previous videos, that front drive thruster has been getting exposed at the top, and, and when I looked at it, there was only one block in front of it. So I decided to add a whole bunch more Xeno, basically a row of Xeno right in front of it, which looks, you know, it looks, blends right into the ship. You can't really even tell it's there, uh, but added that so that way it's got a little bit extra Xeno protection. All right, so like the previous, this is by a matter converter. Um, I don't think these ships are going to move. So I want to go in, I want to get them to notice me, I want the drones to pop up, see we got some drones. Drones saw me, they're coming in. Oh, and the Eradicator, and if, oh, they are moving, so this is going to be a fun one. So, um, yep, yeah, they are moving. Well, we're going to do this anyway. Uh, I'm going to go after the drones and I'm gonna keep an eye on the eradicator infector unless they are still stuck you know I've been to this sector a different day so and that's when I identified them I came back today so it's possible they may not actually be stuck so I'll just keep my eye on them but for now I'm just gonna keep moving around and shooting these drones and killing them all in miles I want to keep the legacy ships in the matter converter you know about one to one and a half miles away that's out of their out of their range for fire but um within render distance and then once i'm done here yeah it doesn't look like they're coming now that the infector was moving before maybe it actually got stuck on the the matter converter but anyway once i'm done with these drones i'll back away and i'll do the same thing i did with the with the devastator Back out of render, right back out of render distance, and start uh, start killing them. Yeah, but for now I'm just gonna rock around, move around. If I get hit by a few shots, that's fine. Yeah, I've got 99% of my shields. You know, like previous videos, my shields are going to be gone pretty quickly, but I'm going to rely on my... Oh, there's another pack of drones, I swear. Yeah. There's a whole other pack of drones in there that hasn't come out yet. And 
interesting. Well, these are almost dead. I wish they'd come out and play those drones that are in there. There they come. Maybe that's the intent. Maybe they're supposed to hide and not come. They are coming thick in a thick pack. Oh boy. I'm going to stay moving so they don't all get a beat on me and start shooting me at once. And again, I like to strafe and to roll. And to do a little down thrust and up thrust and just move all around rock. Q and E, just rock around. Uh, just do random movements so they can't really get a good line on you. close enough and they actually see me they will come closer maybe unless they're all stuck on something watch my shield here because I am getting close to that infector Say I've not had this issue before where drones get stuck or whatever's happening here. Symbiotes. There they go. There they go. They kind of popped out there. It was when the eradicator got the got the exclamation point, then they kind of triggered to move. Maybe that's what that's what, that was the issue. Maybe the eradicator didn't see me, although they packed up again. Come on, guys. See, now the infector's hitting me. You can see the flashes on my shield. There we go. There we go. Keep coming, guys. Keep coming. There we go. Perfect. Now we gotta fight. Yeah, those green beams are... Uh, for those asteroids. Uh, those green beams are my gamma lasers. Those are really for shield damage. Uh, those blue beams are the positrons. The blue light flashes that you see are the regular lasers. Those purple things that just flash there, those are the heavy rail guns. And every once in a while you see rockets. I think everyone knows, ro knows what rockets look like. Those won't really come out though until I start fighting the, uh, the CVs. Uh, there's two ways you can go about, once these drones are gone, dealing with the CVs. If you saw in the other, in the Devastator video, you can actually, if you want to trigger only one of the ships to move, like if you wanted to keep the Eradicator stuck in the middle and glitch there and only trigger the Infector loose, if you back up to a point where only the Infector is out of render distance, you can get that one to trigger to, to move. And if the Legacy and Eradicator is still in render distance, that one, you know, will obviously stay glitched. That's kind of a way to cheese it, though. I'm going to go out of render distance and get them both to move, though. Because I want to show you kind of how I balance them and, you know, if you have to deal with both of them, how I, how I position myself to try to minimize damage. see how many I'm not really seeing many more drones in here okay so what that's fine I'm gonna back out and I'm going to well, now you're coming at me I'm gonna kill you now if you're gonna follow me yeah thank you okay uh, I'm gonna back up and get out of render distance and remember, if you watch the Devastator video, I kind of explained it. Keep pinging your detector to keep their, their, their names displayed on the screen. And then once their names kind of blink or flash or something disappears, not at the same time as everything else. Oh, the infector's moving. 
I don't think the eradicator has triggered to move yet, though. Let me double check my turrets. I want to be all on turrets and mounted weapons for all my turrets. Oh boy. The eradicator's got an exclamation point. There we go. Okay. Okay, so what happened there was the eradicator had an exclamation point, but he was well, well, well outside of render distance, according to my display. Uh, what that means is that he was ghosted, he was actually moving, but he his cursor wasn't actually moving. So if you ever get that, be very cautious um, and make sure you run up and get that, that original cursor in render distance. Okay, and you know what really sucks is I don't think I have night vision goggles on me. I don't. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I am really going to try to isolate the infector and strip all of its turrets and then leave it alive. That is my strategy with these. So I'm going after the infector right now. They seem to be separated a little bit. Oh, the, uh, the eradicator is coming up. Eradicators are sneaky guys. They're agile little. They are agile. See, he's coming at me, so. It's not that I don't want to fight him. I just want to get the infector. Alright, what just happened here? Whoops, didn't mean to shoot there. Oh. oh, what is that? Second time I've run into something here. Usually I don't run into stuff. And now they're going back to the legacy matter converter. Alright. This is the fun of juggling too, is you gotta be careful on how you do it. Um, and you really wanna make sure you don't get one of them to come up behind you or from the side. Basically in a way that you're not you're not prepared to take damage in. The front of my ship is all ready to take damage. Uh, what I don't want is one of them coming up from behind me. And I don't really want to take both of them at the same time. Although I'm taking shots from the infector right now. I'm going to go in right about... No. See, right now I'm taking damage from both, you just can't see it. And that's the deceptive part right now in multiplayer, is that you can't see all their shots. Because I'm inside of his shot distance. And you gotta be careful when you're doing this. Okay, what I was looking for was a matter converter. So what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to keep the infector between the eradicator and me to try to cut off as much of its shots as possible. And then I really see it. Okay, it's they're down. And now I need to take out its turrets. And now I need to take out its turrets. Gosh, I really wish I had my night vision goggles. I took them out the other day, yesterday. I'm going to stop them really quick. I missed. And I see the eradicators right there. He's definitely shooting me. I can't see his shots, but he is hitting me, absolutely. Uh, so just be aware of that. Missing. If you're in single player, all that stuff might show correctly. But here in multiplayer, it is, it is definitely not. So my goal here is to take out all of this guy's turrets. So he is basically just a floating ship. And I'm going to try to ram him to stop him again. And then I'm just going to focus on the Eradicator.
And the reason why I use positrons and hit scan lasers is, gosh, they usually work better. They seem to be a little bit glitched here. Is because they tend to target turrets a little bit better and they kind of guarantee hits on them. And that's really what I want to focus on is I want a constant barrage of damage rather than rockets that do a lot of explosions. Hope all those explosions are on his ship. And not mine. Okay. Again, I'm just hiding behind his ship right now because the eradicator is right there. Hide behind his ship, use it as a shield. And now I can see some of his shots coming in. That's a lot of firepower there, but again, I'm just going to keep ducking behind his shield, or behind his ship. Because I don't want him to shoot me right now. Alright, I think... No, the Infector is not, is not done yet. And this isn't normally the optimal way I'd fight an Infector. If you watch my Infector video, you saw that I would normally handle it differently. Uh, but you're juggling two ships, so it makes it a lot more complicated. Alright, my shield is recharging right now. I am out of their distance. Out. Come on, take those guys out. I'm out of his uh, fire shot range right now, so th I'm going to use this time to get this side. Yeah, perfect. And I don't actually want to core the infector because um, then I have to worry about it, it, it despawning when I'm fighting the eradicator. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to take out all of its turrets and then I'm going to leave it float around and it's going to follow me throughout the galaxy or throughout the sector as I fight the eradicator. There we go. Got those, got those. That turret is almost going to be dead here. There it goes. I think it is dead. Okay. I don't see any firepower coming from it. So now it's time for the Eradicator. And I'm going to try... Oh, he just got stuck on that asteroid. The Infector is going to regenerate his shield. That is fine. Oh, there he's getting free. Alright, where is... Okay, there's the matter converter. That's what I was worried about. Well, as you can see, these take a little bit longer than the solo fights because you do have to juggle the two. Uh, but I am ready to go at this Eradicator. Now I don't have to worry about the Infector in this sector at all. Make sure I'm reloaded on these. Yep, I'm reloaded. And I'm going to employ some of the same strategies you've seen before. I'm going to come in and I'm going to ram it. I'm going to slow it down. Uh, strip its shields. And then go for the focus kills. Well, that's not good. I heard some explosions right away. Now, the one thing I'll say... Oh, I see some little green little green shooties coming at me. Interesting. Those look different. Those look new. Those little green dots coming at me? I haven't seen those before. Either those have been invisible, and we've been getting hit by them this whole time, or they're new. Not sure. You can see them coming off the left side there, those little green balls. Alright. Time to core it. Hopefully. Man, this could get ugly. This could get ugly. <laughs>
basically the 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 core the core is right in the middle of it which you can kind of see I'm aiming for right in there So what I'm waiting for, there we go. Alright, so I'm trying to like keep moving around here. I, I hope I wasn't getting... Trying to move around a little bit. There we go, that was a really good shot. Keep bouncing around a little bit here while my sh while my things reload and then I pop up take another shot in there come back here wait for it to reload kind of ram it slow it down a little bit this takes a long time to reload so the reload time has been fixed it was half the time as it should have been there we go Another shot in there. So I do want to kind of stay to the top side because I've picked off a lot of these turrets up here already. Take another shot in that circle, kind of dip down. Oops, dip up a little bit. Kind of dip up. I gotta be getting close in there. The core is right in that circle. Oh, I gotta be careful with what my sh turrets are shooting at here. And that is a lot of firepower kind of coming at me right there. Again, it, they don't do a lot of block damage, so like I'm not too worried about it. Um, obviously, this is going to be a lot more damage than I've had in my previous fights. Uh, the more the more turrets you get, the easier this gets. Oh, that missed. A little bit of lag there. That's the other. That's the other hard thing with doing this on a multiplayer server. Is you do get some, some bounciness and lag. Oh, I shouldn't have reloaded there. There we go. There we go. Eradicator dead. All right, now where's the infector? I know it's around here. It's over there. Ooh, I actually lost my front drive thruster. That's surprising. Let's see. Yeah, I lost my front drive thruster. That's fine. All right. Well, that's the Eradicator. A little more damage than uh, than a lot more damage than the other ones. Ship can take it. It's fine. Uh, all right. Let's go in and get some loot. Let's see how we did. Please tell me I have my multi-tool. Cool. I don't have any charges on me, but I got 247 points, so that should be fine. All right, let's go in. So the core was right in here. Core was... Oh, that's my own shots coming in. Somewhere in here was right in... That hole right there was the core. Uh, let's see here. The front of the ship. That's the back of the ship. Okay, so to loot it... Okay, so here's the, gener the, the shield generator. Oh, it's got the visible wall glitch. And I don't have any freaking cores on me.
Gosh darn it. That sucks. So this has got the stupid invisible wall glitch, which Elian for some reason can't figure out how to fix. I've given him videos on it, I've clearly explained it, and whatever. So we've all dealt with this bullshit. Um, this is a thruster issue. If you... And now I'm cold. If you turn the thrusters off in the P menu... Let me go back into my ship really quick. I've got another uh, thing for temperature. If you go, if you put your own core in the ship, you go into the P menu and you turn the thrusters off. It fix, it completely fixes the issue. Um, I, I don't know why they can't figure it out on the game side, but that is what it is. All right, so let's go into the armor locker and put that in there. Okay, back to the eradicator. Hopefully, that's still going to leave me a little bit cold, but hopefully, I don't freeze right away. It's going to be harder to loot. A lot harder to go through it. Um, well, in the back part, I got to get back there again. Where, where was I? Right here. There are loot boxes back here that I need to get to. There's one. There we go. Put this into there. Okay, so there are those containers back here. Uh, and then you come back up to the front. And like the Devastator, there's a hallway up here. There is... Uh, if I can get this through... <laughs> They're down there. There's a loot container in that corner down there. There's a loot container down in that little hallway down there. Oh boy, and I don't have multi-charges on me. Which means I'm not going to get in there for the... There's no way I'm going to get in there for the quantums. Alright, give me a second. I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to see if I can't get somebody else here to throw a, a core in it really quick or, or help me out. I'll be right back. Alright, the infector came nearby so I thought I would uh, whoops, uh, resume the recording here. Uh, I got an ally coming by that's going to help me out here and bring a core. Um... And now he's going to run away. No, maybe not. He's going to bring a core by. And uh, we're going to get that thing cored and get that thing fixed. But I thought this infector was going to keep coming towards me. Hopefully I can get him triggered. Maybe not. If he keeps running away, I'm going to let him go. And there he goes. Maybe not. Again, i got to keep uh, the infector in, ra in eradicator in render distance. Well, I don't know what, what he's going to do, but I think that kind of wraps it up here. I took a look at the front nose of my ship, and uh, it actually did a lot more damage than I was expecting, if I'm being completely honest. I think there's a lot more turrets added to it that do more block damage, which is actually a good thing. Uh, in the last update in 1.7, it seemed like uh, they just did a little bit of block damage, and, and that was kind of it. In here, like I said, I actually lost my front drive thruster, which in a way is a decoy. I had a, a turret decoy in there that was gone as well. Uh, and they started to hit some blocks a little bit further back on my ship. You can you kind of see. Um, you can kind of see where I'll hop out here. Hopefully I'm going to set my home spawn just in case he zaps me with something. Because that eradicator is out here somewhere. There he is. Um... So you can see a decent amount of damage. Drive thruster was gone. There was a turret back in there that's been taken out. There was different thrusters around the outside here that were destroyed. There's some blocks missing all around the side here. So they started to go pretty far deep on the front of this ship. you know. And in this ship, it does turn into steel, heavy glass. There are some xeno walls. Like, see, this is... Where did I get that xeno? This is xeno steel all the way across. There's a couple rows of that in there, so... Um, 
Yeah, Eradicators are, are definitely, I, I feel like, tougher than, than they were in 1.7, but that's kind of how I handle it, is you want to focus core that area. Uh, the other way you can go about it with Eradicators is, is uh, now he's coming back, is with an Eradicator, the there is a turret in the unlock menu. It's a manual fire turret. I don't know what it's called. It's it's uh, it's got heat seeking abilities and it kind of looks like a looks like a rocket pod in a way. Uh, this guy. All right. I'm gonna kill this infector. You've seen me kill infectors though. You know how it's done. The core is basically right through that hole, so I can actually core it from the side as well. It doesn't have any turrets or th turrets left left on it. So it's going to be an easy kill from here. So I'm going to wrap up the video here. Kill this infector. Get this all cleaned up. Uh, thanks for joining. If you have any questions, please do let me know. Next up, I plan to do the Devastator-Decimator combination. Hopefully get that up on YouTube here within the next day or two. Otherwise, thanks for joining. Hope to see you next time. Uh, take care, everyone. See you later.